Okay. Oh, let's find our chairs and we'll be in. So we've been doing a little series on chakras and we're going to do the solar plexus, the Manipura chakra, solar plexus. And basically, again, as a reminder, uh, chakras are these little wheels of energy that run up and down our spine. And, um, and each of those areas of our body, uh, they sort of focus on certain things, certain emotional states, certain body things. So the Manipura chakra, which is right above the navel and right below the low rib cage. So it's right in the center of our body. It's our center, our self, right? We find our self here. And so, um, so let's just start. And so, so some of the poses that we'll do today will sort of open up. It's as, as if our if our wheel is stuck a little bit. We'll just get that wheel turning again, so that our energy can flow nicely. So let's just close our eyes, arrive in the space, sitting with a gentle, tall spine. Yeah. And so physically, this area right above the navel, below the rib cage, is a, a energy concentration of uh, physically of our digestive tract, our pancreas, our kidneys, all of our abdom abdominal organs, right? And then so and and then so metaphysically, so psychologically, it has to do with our mental acuity and our sense of belonging. And when it's nice and open and spinning, it's we feel generous and we feel joyful. Yeah, so we'll open that up. If it's sort of stuck and clogged up a little bit, sometimes we get the sense of jealousy, greed, envy, things like that. So huh, let's arrive here. Let's bring our palms up on our lap, eyes closed. Good, let's take just a couple cleansing breaths. Take a breath in through your nose and exhale it out. <sighs> Good. And then breathe again in through your nose and let it go. And one more time, breath in, let it go, relax now. Good. And we're just going to gently and slowly blink our eyes open. So we're going to begin with, this is a, a basically stoking the fire. This area is it's solar energy. It's a solar plexus like the sun, fire. So we're going to do what's called uh, belly breath, bellows breath. Some people call it kundalini breath. And basically, we're going to be taking a breath in. The breath is just nice and relaxed and natural. And when we breathe out, it's a quick, active breath out. And our belly is going to be involved in this. So we're going to practice a couple and then we'll close our eyes. So as we breathe in, allow the belly to just rise. And as you breathe out, breathe out quickly and allow the belly to draw back. So we're inhaling, relax the belly and exhaling, drawing it back. I'm going to just uh, uh, demonstrate here. So you can even put your hand on your belly here. So you inhale, the belly rises just gently. And as you exhale, back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So you're drawing that belly back. So really that belly is really active here and that's gonna get our fire stoked. So you can either keep your hands, your belt hands on your belly if that helps you, or you can just bring your hands up on your lap. And let's again, close our eyes. All right, so let's just begin and you can do big breaths or little ones however it's comfortable for you. All right, so again, just a passive inhale breath, belly relaxes and rises. And as you exhale, draw it back, Get both in and out of your nose. Inhale, exhale, in, ex, in, out. So as you're breathing in and out, your belly's rising and drawing back. Do about six more. Good. 
and relax the breath, relax the body, keeping the eyes closed. We're gonna do two more rounds of that breath. So you can either get go quicker or you can stay with a nice slow cadence, whatever is comfortable on your body. Yeah. So let's just take a cleansing breath in and breathe out. And then begin, breathe in, relax, and breathe out. In, out, in. The exhale breath is very active and quick. And relax. Notice if you start to feel some energy as if you're throwing a couple logs on the fire in your solar plexus and then fanning it with that bellow. Yeah, and getting it nice and stoked. Yeah. And then finally, we're gonna do one more just like that or quicker, however it serves you. So take a cleansing breath in and breathe out and then begin breathe in out go through your nose an experiment with going a little faster if you'd like And relax. It's also a great breath to practice for stress relief. It sort of burns off all the stress. It's nice for our respiratory system. She cleans it out, cleanses the sinuses. And for our overall concentration, it helps us to clear the mind, right? So in yoga, we say that the gut, that belly area, the solar plexus area, is our second brain. So what is going on in our gut typically is going on in our brain, in our mind. Yeah. So when our digestion is going well, we tend to be clear-headed. And when we're stuck and feeling stagnant there, so is our mind typically. Yeah, so this breath helps us to take that fire, burn off that lethargy and get clearer. All right. And when you're ready and feel complete, gently flutter the eyes open. Yeah, so how was that for everybody? It's a little bit of a challenging breath. It's good to practice. And again, if you start to feel stressed, you know, just get that belly going, right? And that, that breath. And that can help you just imagine you're just burning off all that, that stuff, that those toxins, that stagnancy. Yeah. Okay. So finding our nice tall spine, if we lost it here, we're going to take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, drop your chin to your chest, stretch your shoulders back. Yeah. Good. And then on an inhale breath, lift the chin up. Keep the back of your neck long and lift the chin up slightly. So imagine that back of the neck is nice and long and you're just lifting your head up and back a little bit. Opening up our throat chakras too and our thymus and thyroid area. And then exhale, relax the head forward. Again, take a nice big breath in. As you exhale, drop your chin to your chest again. Good. And keeping the chin down, tuck down now. On an inhale breath, roll your chin up towards your right shoulder. Nice and slow. And then exhale, drop your chin back to your chest. And then inhale, roll your chin up to your left shoulder. 
and exhale drop your chin to your chest keeping your chin down now on an inhale breath slowly roll your head over to the right let's make circles with our head and up and then over to the other side and forward feel free always here to close your eyes if you'd like and just make nice nice stretchy big circles with your head good and then the next time that your head comes forward pause let's reverse opposite direction nice slow circles opposite direction following the breath inhaling the side and up exhaling to the other side forward and next time you come forward pause Press into your toes and gently float the head back up. If you have your eyes closed, feel free to flutter them open. And relaxing the arms down, let's inhale, lift the shoulders up and back. And slide your shoulder blades down your back. Bring the, uh, out of the shoulders forward and up and back and down. One more. Big breath in and breathe out. Good. And then reverse opposite direction. Inhale up and forward. Exhale down. Big, big breath in. And relax the arms now. Let's bend the elbows. Bring the hands up and lift your elbows up as high as is comfortable on your body spread your fingers wide wiggle your fingers yeah move your fingers around just stretch them out good and then relax fingers again palms are forward and then stretch your upper arms back feel your heart lift and then again keep that nice long back of your neck and lift your chin and breathe Little smile on your face here opening up now we got our fire stoked so we're giving it some space to burn off all of those tendencies negative tendencies again of of lack and jealousy and envy yeah. and as we exhale slowly relax forward take a breath in and exhale slowly bring your arms forward Bring one on top of the other and find a nice hug for yourself. Yeah, good. Take a breath in. As you exhale, squeeze. Yeah. Yeah, this also, this energy is about belonging. Belonging to each other. Belonging to yourself. Yeah. And that way, when we feel belongingness, we don't feel that envy, right? Or that jealousy because we're all one so we feel happy for each other when they have something good that happens to them yeah. and relax and slowly lift the head and relax the arms down good. and let's roll it out again all right and let's bring our hands now again elbows up good one hand on top of the other doesn't matter which good nice tall spine and then we're going to inhale to the right, exhale to the left. Just inhaling, exhaling both in and out of the nose. We want to build up that nitric oxide in our body through that nose breathing. Good. So keep it slow, or if you want to feel like you want to go a little faster, that's up to you. Being gentle with your spine, just slightly and gently waking up the spine, movement in the spine. Yeah, when we don't move a little bit each day, our body sort of forgets about moving certain parts of our body. Yeah, so we have to remind our body, yeah, the spine moves also. It's a 
couple more here. And come back to center, relax your elbows down, interlace your fingers and squeeze your palms together and squeeze your fingers. You can watch your fingers turn white, right? And then relax and watch the fingers get pink again. And then squeeze your hands and relax, good. And shake out your fingers, shake out your body, shake out your head, blink your eyes, good, wiggle your toes. Just move the body here, good. And relax, good, all right. Into our spine again, we're gonna bring our right hand across to our left thigh. Relax the left arm down. Turn your palm out. On an inhale breath, let's reach that arm out and up. Good, take a breath in, stretch up tall. As you exhale, reach up and lean over. So get as long as you can in that right side and breathe, and opening up this whole area here. Yeah, good. And so much of the yoga poses usually address all the chakras in each class. And to have just a little mindfulness of each one is kind of nice, right? And as you exhale, slowly come up and then float your arm down. Good. And the other side. So left hand onto the right thigh, right palm out, press down into your feet, inhale, reach out, out and up and stretch up tall, good. And as you exhale, we reach up and over and breathe. Nice and long. Maybe even turn your head, this time look underneath that right arm. Notice if one side was different than the other. And then on an inhale breath, press into your feet to float up. And exhale, relax the shoulder to float your arm down. And roll it out. Okay, and roll it forward. All right, we're gonna come into a, my favorite pose for this solar plexus area is a lunge, right? So we're gonna turn to the side in our chair here, good. And either you can stay here with your hips on the chair, we're gonna be moving over to the back of the chair. If you want to get a little bit deeper in the pose and do a little bit of a hip flexor stretch, you can slide this outside hip, which is now your my left, right? And drop your knee down towards the floor. Good. Different options here. The knee can be a little forward, right? And this just helps to stretch a little bit. Helps a little bit deeper twist too. Or the knee all the way down. If you're feeling like you want to be have a little more stretch here, you can lean forward and you can slide your foot as far back as is comfortable on your body, bringing the body back up nice and straight. So you can experiment what feels good on your body. If there's any tweaking in your back or anywhere, then modify. Yeah, good. And then wiggle around a little bit, get your hips nice and settled. All right, and then relax your arms down. We're gonna inhale and float both of our arms up towards the sky. Feel the heart lift up slightly. Good, nice stretch, your fingertips to the ceiling. Big breath here, exhale, relax. Start to slowly pivot over to the back of your chair. Yeah, and then you can grab on to either side of your chair or the top of your chair or have one hand, maybe your left hand across the outside of the right thigh. Keep a gentle, tall spine. All right, I have my back to you here. And then slowly turn and look over the opposite shoulder. Yeah, that would be my left. And breathe now. So once you land in your lunge, try to find that nice deep belly breath. Yeah, this whole class, if you can remember to tap into that belly breath, which is relaxing your belly as you breathe in and drawing the navel back as you breathe out. Yeah. 
And we're going to linger here for about three more slow breaths. And each time that you exhale, see if you can maybe turn just a little more if that works for your body. And if you're starting to feel tweaking anywhere, you've gone too far. Smile on the face. Enjoy just stoking the fire of this solar plexus. And the next time you relax, uh, breathe out, relax, and slowly bring your upper body back to the side here. Yeah, good. And then to come out of the pose, we want to lean forward a little bit and allow that hand to help slide that left foot next to the right. Grab onto your chair and slide both hips back onto your chair. Good. And then wiggle your way, slide your way, however you want to get back to the front. Yeah, good. Yeah, and so, so that belly breath is the best thing that we can do to keep this solar plexus just flowing and our digestion, right? All right, and then we're gonna go to the other side. Good. So again, either sitting just to the side and you know moving to, to a little twist to the back of your chair. If you want to come into a little lunge, you can slide that outside hip off your chair a little bit. It gives you more room to slide that knee down. Yeah. And again, on this side, if you want to experiment with scooting the toes back, lifting the body straight back up. So you don't want to remain with your body forward here. We want a nice straight spine. So if you've gone too far, modify to where it feels good. Wiggle around, get nice and comfortable in your lunge. If you're not comfortable to start with, it's going to be a little uncomfortable the whole pose, right? Because you're going to be thinking about the discomfort somewhere. So find a nice lunge, yes, or just the side seat. Good. And let's, this time we're just going to take a breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to start to turn at your waist over to the back of your chair. And again, you can hold on, because sometimes that gives you stability, but sometimes it feels like it's too much. So maybe one hand on the top of your chair, and maybe this right hand on the outside of the left thigh. Once you land in that, you're gonna turn your head and look over that opposite shoulder. Maybe that left shoulder. And breathe into that belly. Breathe in. And out. Each time you breathe out, relax. Maybe you go a tick further. Maybe you're far enough. And breathe. Make sure that area right above your navel, navel and right below your rib cage. And we're squeezing and getting out a lot of toxins and and that stuck stuckness. We're oiling that area so it can the wheel can turn nice and easy. Couple more breaths here. Enjoying this moment. And then when you're ready on an exhale breath, slowly just bring your body straight to the side, line with that leg, right? And then to come out of it, you're gonna lean forward a little bit and let that hand help that outside leg next to the other and scoot both hips onto your chair. Good. And then make your way back to the front of your chair. Good. And relax. Good. And it might feel nice to just relax your arms down and inhale, press into your feet as you gently slide your shoulders up towards your ears. So we're gently stretching that spine long after that twist. Yeah, so don't overstretch, it's nice and relaxed. And exhale, slowly relax the shoulders down. Do a couple shoulder rolls here and forward. All right, we're gonna come into one more seated pose here before we make an option to stand. We're gonna come into Sphinx. So scooting forward in your chair. Good. Take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, hinging at your hips, draw your belly forward. Yeah, like you're laying your belly down onto your thighs and come forward a little bit and bring your elbows onto your thighs and your, your fingers are forward. Yeah, good. So you see these um, 
concrete sphinxes on either sometimes at libraries you know that's what we are we're a sphinx pose here good and we're looking down right now between our hands good and then we're gently going to press into our el elbows we're going to slide our elbows back so pressing down into your thighs and sliding them back and then draw your heart forward and then lift your gaze and breathe yeah opening up that whole front spine a little bit of a back bend here stretching out the front of that solar plexus and breathe and enjoy and sometimes remaining in poses for a little while you tap into what's going on with each exhale breath maybe you stretch just a little bit more yeah Relax your shoulders back and down. Good. And on your next exhale breath, relax your gaze back down, looking at the floor. Slide your right hand onto your thigh and your left hand onto your thigh. Good. Press down into your thighs and slowly come back up. Good, let's just do a couple of cat cows before we stand. So inhale, lift the chest, slide the hands back, reach your elbows like you wanna to touch them on together behind you. And then exhale, slide your hands forward. Just drop your head, relax your spine. Good. And one more inhale, slide the hands up your thighs, reach your elbows back, look up. And exhale, slide forward drop your head and slowly come back up Good. and we'll make our way to standing so sliding our heels back a little bit coming forward and pressing into your toes but remember to use those toes when you stand and we'll all meet here in the back so the uh, back of our chair here Good. all right well i want to Keep our fingertips on the back of our chair here. Let's just move the body, shake off. We've been sitting for a little bit. So shake off the stiffness. Yeah, move the body. And come back to center, good. All right, and then we're gonna just hold on to the chair here. We're gonna lift our toes up and drop the toes and come up onto your tiptoes and drop your heels and lift your toes and down and lift your heels and down and now we're going to lift our heels up and down we just did this uh earlier this week yeah come up and down on your heels you can either go quicker you can like bounce on your heels knees are soft or you can just come up and down on your heels if you want a little balance challenge you can bring one hand onto your hip other hand onto your hip and again just bounce on your heels nice soft knees, good for our, our bone mass. Yes, building our bones, staying strong, but make sure those knees are soft and not stressing that knee joint. Yeah. And bounce, bounce, bounce. Good. And relax, good. And please, good. On an inhale breath, we're gonna reach our arms out to a T and bend the elbows. Good. Take a nice big breath in and again, reach your upper arms back, lift your heart. Take a few breaths here, letting that heartbeat sort of settle back down after our bouncing. Good. And then bringing the gaze back forward, relaxing the shoulders. We're going to keep the arms where they are. We're going to take the fingers and we're going to reach the fingers forward. Let's see how that's going with your shoulders. Yeah, just take it to where it's comfortable on your shoulders. If it's comfortable, if you're comfortable there, you want to bring your fingertips towards the floor, kind of like a scarecrow that's up on its, its uh, stand. Yeah, bring the fingers down. But again, make sure that there's a little bit of a stretch and a rotation in your shoulders, but it's not uncomfortable. And breathe. Two. 
on one. Good. And now slowly start to, actually let's just take a breath in here and exhale, start to float your fingertips down towards the floor as you straighten your elbows and roll it out. And go ahead and shake it out. Nice. Okay, we're gonna come into a little skier pose, right? To the feet here if you're in Colorado. Good. And again, opening up this front solar plexus. Um, so we're gonna, again, bring our hands now into an L shape, but arms down alongside the body. Good. I'm gonna take my chair up here, so maybe you'll be able to see me a little bit more. So as if, as if we're just holding onto poles here. Yeah, we've done this before. It's actually a very challenging pose, so even though it's just a little bit of a, a, a back bend here, you're going to stop in your knees like they taught you in ski school. Yeah, good. And then you're going to start to glide your elbows back. So your fists, your hands end up maybe right in line with your rib cage, right at that solar plexus area. Good. And then relax your shoulders back. And then keep that back of the neck long and just lift your chin up slightly. We don't ever want to drop our head back. Yeah, just going to lift the chin and breathe here. So we're working our thighs, strengthening our thighs, opening up the front of our spine here, opening up that solar plexus and breathing. Yeah, each exhale, maybe you slide your poles back just a little more. Yeah, starts to get a little challenging. Find your breath. Again, nothing should be uncomfortable. No discomfort in the back. Two more breaths here. We've got it. Good. And on your next exhale breath, relax your head forward. Start to slide your ski poles back forward. Good. And then press into your toes and straighten the knees and relax your arms down. Good, and shake it out. Nice. Okay, so let's wiggle it out, shake it out. Just a nice opening. It's a tiny little movements there, but they're really powerful and profound. Okay, so we're gonna come into warrior one pose. So we have an, um, a little warrior one uh, twist. Good. So we're gonna, you can have your chair, you can keep your chair in front of you here. We're gonna step the right foot back onto your heel. So there's a little bit of a, uh, a train track sort of on your feet. So you play around with what feels good on your body. You're gonna just put a slight bend in this front knee here. And we're gonna bring our hands onto our waist. Good. And you're gonna try to square your hips to the front of the room. Tendency is for your hips to go to the right, because the, that right foot is back. And we want to square the hips. So and again, just wiggle around a little bit. Make sure there's no tweaking in your back knee. Yeah, good. And just find your warrior one, nice and comfortable. Gently press into your toes. Good. And then you can hold on to your chair if you'd like uh, here. Hands on hips. We're going to reach one arm up if that's available. And if it's available to you to reach the other arm up, let's find ourselves in this warrior one. Take a breath in, exhale it out. Good. Take a breath in, exhale, soften the shoulders back and down. And one more breath in. And as you exhale now, soften the shoulders. Good. We're going to just slowly turn the body over to the left, just slightly. Good. You can relax your arms down halfway. Bring them into a T. Good. And if that's too much for you, you've gone too far, modify, come a little more forward. Good. And then inhale, slowly reach the arms back up as the body comes forward. And exhale over to the other side. Yeah. Good. Just as far as it's comfortable. A little challenging here. Use your toes, use your breath. Inhale, slowly come back forward. Arms up, huke. And exhale, release your hands back down onto the back of your chair or your hips. 
and then we're going to lean forward slightly, pressing into these front toes. On an inhale breath, gently slide that back foot next to the other and shake it out. Yeah, so be really gentle and mindful on that twist because where our legs are in a precarious little position there, so you don't want to overturn in that pose. We usually do that with both feet together. It's a little more space, but in that warrior one, it's a lot more challenging. Okay, so let's take that um, other foot back. So left foot back. Again, let's play around with your warrior one legs, the little bend in this front knee. Good, hips square to the front. Good, get yourself situated. Notice if there's any different here. This is a really nice opener for our hip too. So on this side, I'm a little stiffer. That's a tendency in my body. Yeah, uh, good. And you can hold on to your chair here if you like. Good. If it's available to you, reach one arm up. If you're feeling steady and sturdy in your legs, reach both arms up. Good, take a nice big breath in. Gently stretch up. Exhale, relax your shoulders, just sink into the pose. Yeah, glutes are engaged. Big breath in again. Exhale, relax. Good, and you can either remain right here. If you'd like to do a little twist, you can slowly start to turn your body over to the right. Drop your arms halfway. Look over your little shoulder. Breathe. Yeah, so it's just a tiny little twist here. Really working your glutes, pressing your toes into the floor to stay steady. Good, and slowly make your way back forward as you gently reach your arms back up. Ever so gently. Good. And exhale over to the other side. A little bit easier on this side. Yeah and breathe so really feeling those legs working sturdy steady strong legs yeah big breath good and then on an inhale breath you're going to slowly bring your body back forward good arms up as you exhale float your arms down either the back of your chair or on your hips Lean the body forward, straight spine. On an inhale breath, just slide your feet up next to the other and shake it out. Good. And wiggle it out. Good. And we're gonna bring our, feet, our legs a little bit wider apart here. Soften the knees. And let's just go side to side. Another great pose for the solar plexus. You can feel your forearm tapping your front body and your back hips yeah good lifting the opposite heel breathing in and ha out in ha out in ha. ha and one more and come back to center good bring the feet in just a little bit more bring your hands onto your hips Soften your knees and let's do some hip rotations. Really feeling that movement in that solar plexus area. Yeah. Getting our wheels to spin. Good. And then reverse, go the opposite direction. Good. and come back to center, good. Now finding a stance, we're gonna do chair pose, yes. So sometimes it feels better to do that with your feet about hip distance apart. For some of us, it feels a little bit better to do it with our feet a little wider apart. So you can try, we'll do a couple chairs and experiment with what feels better on your body. Yeah, good. So I'm gonna start with a little wider stance here and take a breath in. And as I exhale, I'm gonna send my hips back and have your hands onto your thighs as if you're sitting down. So squats are such an important part of staying healthy, especially as we age. Yeah, if we can squat, 
they've, they've done a study, I think, remember reading a long time ago, the people that can squat the furthest down are typically the people that have the longest longevity in their life. Yeah, it, in a healthy way. Good, all right. So let's lift the heart and then bring one arm forward and the other arm forward. If that's available to you, you can always keep one hand on your thighs if that feels like too much pressure on your back. Good, tuck the belly in, send the hips a little further back. Good, gently pressing into your toes. Maybe we lift the arms up to point towards where the ceiling meets the wall. Lift the gaze up between your hands and breathe. Again, this is a good skier. It's getting those thighs to work, right? Getting our, our ski season on and breathe two and for one relax the arms let them float down good and then look down press down into your toes and as very slowly straighten the knees good ah and roll it out notice the heartbeat yeah let's bring our feet back to now hip distance apart if you were a little wider let's bring our right arm across our solar plexus here and then the left arm just hold on to that outside of the right arm. Yeah, so just grabbing that. Let's find a few breaths here. So there's some energy points here in uh, Jin Shin that this is, helps with anxiety and to relax the body and to just, uh, yeah, relax those organs, those abdominal organs. All right, and then release that out. Good. Now we're gonna do one more chair pose. So you can either go back to that little bit wider stance. That didn't feel as good. You can experiment with feet about hip distance apart and just decide, yeah. Take a breath in. As you exhale, sit your hips back again. Find that stool behind you. So I'm finding that I liked my wider stance. So I am gonna go to that. It felt better on my knees. So you, you decide, right? And you decide how low down you go. Hips are reaching back, good. And either staying with your hands supported on your thighs, or you can reach arm forward. Tuck your belly in here, yeah, good. And then reaching up to where the ceiling meets the wall, if that's comfortable, yes. So modify, there's lots of different options. Find a way to be here for at least three or four breaths. Yes, big breaths. If you can't breathe because you're uncomfortable, then modify. Yeah, two, three. Sit down a little bit more with each exhale breath. If you can, good. And when you're ready, float your hands down to your thighs. Press down into your feet, your toes, to slowly straighten the knees. Good, yeah. And then either staying in that stance or bringing yourself back to mountain pose legs. Good. Now we're gonna bring the opposite arm in front of just along the solar plexus and take the opposite hand, just holding on to your upper arm there. And find your breath. Relax your breath, let the heart beat to settle down. Good. And relax on an exhale breath, relax the arms, roll out the shoulders. Good. All right, coming again one more time to a little bit wider stance, not a chair, not chair pose. We're going to do a forward fold here. So grab your maybe right wrist with your left hand, right? So you're holding onto your wrist back there with your left hand, good. And take a nice big breath in, stretch your shoulders back, lift your chin, good. And then with soft knees, ever so gently, you're gonna to start to slide your hips back, soften your knees, and just bow the body forward just to wherever it lands. Drop the head if that's comfortable for you. And just find yourself in this forward fold. And you're gently 
gliding that right hand back to the back wall with that left one. And breathe. So you're stretching your right arm long. Getting some blood flow into the brain. Maybe find a little belly breath here. Extending the exhale, inhale breath, let the belly extend to the floor. Exhale, draw it up. Good. Now on the inhale breath, glide that hand back, that right hand back. Stretch it back as you slowly lift the body back up. And knees stay soft, head stays down. And stretch your right hand down towards the floor as you finally lift your head. Good. And release and let it go and stretch it out and kick it out. All right. All right. Now we're going to just do a little twist here. So feet stay a little bit wider apart. And let's just rock side to side. Remember that the dance, the twist. So you can go that fast. It always gave, gave me a side bubble. But just twisting the solar plexus, relax, and it's nice and relaxed. Make this just so relaxed. Yeah. Good. I should have played the song. Is it the Beatles? Come on, babe. Let's do the twist. <laughs> yeah. And relax. Good. Back two feet hip distance apart. And let's find our chairs. Sitting down mindfully, hips going back as we sit down, toes, using your toes to sit down. And as gracefully as you can, slide your hips back and find your chair. Yeah, good. And we're scooted forward in our chair just a little bit here. I'm gonna open up our hips, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna grab behind our um, right knee, yeah. And on an inhale breath, let's hug that knee in. Let's do a couple little rotations with that foot once while we're up here, hugging that knee in, that thigh into your belly, getting into that ascending colon, that digestive tract. Yeah, good. If it's available to you, bringing the outside of the right ankle on top of the left leg, lifting the toe up. If you're leaning forward and you're feeling too much but too intense of a stretch, you know the drill. Either dropping and crossing up your ankles or the outside of your right foot, if you lay it onto that left shoelace, it allows this leg to open just a little more. Yeah, that right hip, good. So find your legs here and let's lift our chest, good. Nice tall spine. This is enough of a stretch, stay right here. If you want to get a little bit deeper, glide your belly forward, gliding it forward. Keep your chin up, yeah, until you reach a decent stretch in this right hip that you're not grimacing about, but it feels like a good stretch. And then relax the head forward. Good. And breathe. Nice, long, slow, deep breath here. Close your eyes. And breathe in and out of the nose. And each time that you exhale, see if you can soften your whole upper body, your shoulders, your back, your head. Just soften your right hip. Enjoy the stretch. about three more breaths here and then on your next inhale breath gently press into your right toes and ever so slowly float the body back up and being gentle, relax this foot, good. And very gently help to release that leg. Yes, or just uncross here, good. Now let's just find a nice tall spine and then lean forward. Let's grab behind the opposite knee, good. Press down into that standing foot to 
hug that thigh in. This also again helps down the descending colon side, giving it a little massage. Let's do a little foot turn or just toe on the floor and you can draw your heel side to side to stretch your ankle as well. And then reverse, opposite direction. Good, this is such a powerful pose here. Let's give it your 100%, yeah. And then if it's available to you, ankle on leg, yeah, lifting the toe. And if that is not comfortable for you, then you know the drill. A side of the shoe on top of that right foot or across, yeah, you decide. But we do want a nice tall spine. So nice tall spine, good. Take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, feel your belly reach forward. That solar plexus area, just push it forward. Good, keeping the gaze up. We're not rounding the back, good. And then as you exhale, you can relax the head down, look down at the floor. Close your eyes. Notice the left hip now and how that feels on your body. Breath and as you exhale, relax the body. Nice, long, slow, deep breath. Each time you exhale, notice what you're, what's tense, what you're gripping. Typically shoulders, even fingers, and jaw. Open your mouth slightly, just relax the whole body as you open up hips. Good. And when you're feeling ready, on an inhale breath, you can press down into your right foot and slowly float the body back up. Yeah. And again, guide that leg nice and uh, easy off. Yeah, that leg. And we're gonna bring our legs out wide. And one more time, we're gonna just do some, like we're gonna do some body rotations here. Yeah. And we're moving at this hip and low belly area. Good. But take a breath in as you exhale lean forward and then float over to the right and come back tuck that belly in that low belly now yeah and over to the other side and forward yeah just notice how open your hips feel notice just notice and close your eyes here if you'd like to as well Next time you come forward, pause and reverse opposite direction. Inhaling up, exhaling forward. Just give this your 100% here. Just imagine again that area above your navel, below your rib cage, just stretching and opening. Just instilling joy, generosity. Great digestion. Next time you come forward, pause and slowly press into your palms to float the body back up. Bring your toes in, your heels in, and your toes in, and your heels in. Good. And we're going to prepare now. Beautiful work, everyone. Hopefully your sun is shining. Um, and we're going to prepare for Shavasana. Right? But so scooting back in your chair, all, all the way back, hips back. Good. All right. So we are going to begin with a, a Surya, a, a mudra, the sun mudra. If you're laying down, you can have your palms up on the floor. If you're sitting down, palms up on your lap. And we're just going to curl that ring finger in towards your, your palm and cover it up with your thumb. So the thumb is just like a blanket covering up your ring finger. Nice and relaxed. The other three fingers, the pointer finger, middle finger, and pinky are just gently reaching forward, relaxed. Yeah. And then closing our eyes. Good. And let's just come into three nice, long, deep belly breaths. So breathing in through your nose, allow the belly to soften. 
And as you breathe out, draw your belly back. So this mudra is just taking the energy to our metabolism. It's regulate, can regulate the metabolism in our body, our digestion, our liver detoxification, even our vision. It's a good mudra to bring some good energy and balance in our vision. Yeah. Providing us with the essential heat and energy for our body to function optimally. And one more breath here. Nice, long, slow, deep breath. And then on your next exhale breath, just relax your fingers, relax the mudra. Yeah. And just make any final little tweaks, keeping the eyes closed. If you need to wiggle the body just a little more to get it settled in nice and comfortably. Good. And begin to relax now. Relaxing completely. Take a breath in and let it go. All body begins to relax and soften for this next two or three minutes. Just relax. Immediate relaxation. Try to keep the body still. Bring a little smile. Relax the back of your neck, your shoulders, relax your arms, your hands and fingers. Feel your back relax, your heart. all of your internal abdominal organs, your stomach, your spleen, your liver, small intestines, colon, belly, all soft. Imagine a little tiny fire, flame, just burning right above the navel and below your rib cage. This beautiful open flame. Feel your legs relax, your knees, your lower legs, your feet, your toes. body, relax, bring your awareness to your mind, and as we relax that abdominal area, our mind automatically relaxes as well, so allow the mind to just relax. Allow thoughts to come and go. And relax now all of your efforts. Each gentle exhale breath, imagine all the stress just gently burning and dissipating body. Yeah. Just for another minute, just be here, doing nothing, wanting nothing, 
having everything. free to remain here now for as long as you'd like. And should you choose now to slowly come back into this space, just take a gentle belly breath in and breathe out. Another breath in and breathe out. And feel free to slowly, slowly make your way out, wake yourself up. Move the body however it feels organic, side to side, wiggling the body, the toes, the fingers. You're laying down, rolling onto one side. Smile on the face. And then we'll find ourselves coming to stillness. Finding ourselves sitting in stillness. Bringing your palms together at your heart. Take a nice big breath in. And then exhale, bow your forehead to your fingertips. Good. And we'll close practice today with this. Contentment is not the fulfillment of what you want, but the realization of how much you have when you're feeling ready and complete. Gently begin to flutter the eyes open as you lift your head. And I thank you all for coming and stoking your fire, getting your solar plexus wheel rolling. Have a lovely, beautiful, toasty rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you everyone for being here, for coming to